So I found this little pedal here and I want to play a little bit with it. So let's see how to set it. Okay, done. Just joking. Let's see how to do it. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna see how to set properly a pedal. Every pedal is different in size and weight, but all have in common two or three aspects that today we're gonna discover how to set properly to maximize its power, speed and control. So let's begin. So the three main settings that every pedal have is the tension of the spring, the length of the beater and the distance that the beater have from the bass drum. So, in this case I found this Iron Cobra, which is a very beautiful pedal, but uh, all these settings apply to every pedal, even if there is uh, one more cheaper than this. First I want to see one thing. Most people think that to go fast with the pedal, uh, you have to own an uh, axis or uh, something like that. And that is not true because you can achieve the same speed and the same power and control with a pedal like this that have a short board and not a long board. So the difference from a short board and a long board is that uh, the sensitivity of the pedal with the long board is much more higher than the short board. But even with this shorty, you can achieve the same speed, power and control of an axis. The beater have to be at its maximum length because we have to uh, first take the center of the bass drum properly and second we have to use the much more inertia that we can so in this case we are using a lot of inertia because this is a long leverage and if this will be shorter as you can see the movement is fast initially but the inertia is less and then you don't uh, reach the, the center of the bass drum. So your your stroke like this with the beater at maximum length would be much more powerful and eventually much more fast. Second is the angle of the beater. So we have to ascertain that our angle is 45 degree. And uh, if here's the, the bass drum and here is the ground, this is actually, this pedal is perfect because it's 45 degree. So many people think that if they put the, the pedal like this and is more nearer to the bass drum, uh, they will reach much more uh, speed. But this is not true because when you uh, put the beater like this, first your, your stroke will be so weak because you have this little movement and uh, the beater can't reach fast enough the bass drum to get a good sound so your stroke is weaker and then also slower because like this you can't really um, use the ankle motion or the swivel or the heel toe technique because your beater is not coming back enough to allows you to uh, use that technique so uh, definitely the sweet spot is 45 degree. The third and super important setting that everyone want to know is the tension of the spring. I like to put the spring at its maximum tension. So what do we go what I gonna do in, in this case is to, to remove this little stopper here. I will remove this because I can go uh, even lower with the, with the spring without this. So, first of all, remove even this and then we remove the spring. So, I remove this. Okay. And I can uh, help myself with something to push the spring down. And actually, what I noticed with the, this Aero Cobra, that's there is this little uh, screw that have um, 
have a, a little triangle here to lock into the pedal. But if I lock this into the pedal, I lose tension because he goes inside the pedal. So I will turn this so I can, uh, I can use the maximum of the, of the tension of the spring. So I put my spring here and I have myself with this K. So I push down. Okay, so now all the spring is very tensed and it's very, it's very hard to, to push. So many people think that if you have a spring tense like that, like this, you uh, have problem with the pedal because it is too much uh, hard to, to push the beater. But in reality, you have a pedal that is much more faster. So if you use the right technique and you allow the pedal to come back of the beater anytime and you are pushing rightly the beater. Uh, after a, a little while that you get accustomed to this tension, you will start feeling this pedal very, very light and very, very fast. So like this is for me is perfect because we can use all his spring, all his inertia to go. So is ready for me. Last thing that I want to do is to remove this really unuseless foot stopper. This is a foot stopper, so I'm gonna remove this because it's really unuseless. And okay. Because I want to I want to reach even this point when I'm using the the heel toe or the swivel technique. I want to use this part of the pedal too that is very sensitive up here so so even for this time it's all i hope you enjoyed this video my name is bernardo grillo and i'll see you next time